It sound right, boy. Dudes, what's up? In this one, we're gonna be going over this flying machine kelp farm. Look at it go. So I did do two other videos on kelp farms and it didn't feel complete without throwing in a flying machine kelp farm because I absolutely love flying machine farms like this. It's a little bit trickier when you do it underwater and we're gonna talk about that a little bit later when we're actually building the farm. The great thing about this farm is that you can expand it both the length and the width. If you do want to expand the width, you're going to have to make more flying machines like this. For some reason, these flying machines underwater, they get stuck randomly if you have them larger than this or longer than this. So what I did here was actually a three. And this kelp farm right here gets about 12,000 kelp an hour. So this one, I did three flying machines and then it's about 100 blocks long. So that's a lot of fuel. The only materials I don't have to build this farm are subscribes. Yes, that is right. Help me get more subs so that I can build this farm. Here are all the materials you're gonna need to build this farm. I'm also going to have all the materials down in the description. These are just normal building blocks. I'm gonna use glass just so that we can see through them. You don't really need all of this kelp, uh, but it is gonna be helpful to get it picked off and get the ball rolling on this farm if you do have three and a half stacks of kelp. And then these are temporary blocks. I'm going to use dirt because dirt is really easy to remove. The first thing you want to look for when you're going to make this farm is an open area just like this. I kind of flatten this area out because you do need it to be flattened out. And also when you're building this farm, you need to build it on Y level 35 or lower. If you build it higher up than that, you can break the farm. If the kelp grows all the way up, it'll turn some of the water flowing water at the top into water sources and it'll just break the whole thing. So make sure that you build it down on Y equals level 35 or lower. So the first thing we're going to want to do to make this farm is start putting down the kelp. Now we're going to want to put down the kelp and go six wide and then we're going to want to go 25 long. You can really do however long you want. But I'm just going to do 25 long for the sake of this tutorial. Now that we have all the kelp in place, then we're going to start making the flying machine and we're going to build that two off the ground like that. We're going to put two slime blocks, then we're going to put a glass block just to cap it off like that. Then we need to put a sticky piston facing this way. Then we need to put two more honey blocks and then a glass block just like that. And then we're going to need to put another sticky piston right there. Next, we need a trap door. So this, this is kind of weird. This is a lot different than the flying machines on land or above water. But we're going to need to put trap doors just like that. And then observers facing into the trap doors. So when these observers move, it's going to send power into the sticky pistons right here. Now, the reason why we're using honey blocks and not slime blocks, you could use slime blocks, but then it's going to launch a lot of the kelp super far, and we're not going to be able to collect it up above unless we make a bigger collection area. So just to keep things simple and make this farm as easy as possible, we're going to use honey blocks so that we get the best output from this thing. And uh, it's still pretty easy to put together. So to make the return flying machine, it's kind of tricky because we need to make an air pocket underwater. The first thing we're going to do is put obsidian right there or just any kind of immovable block. So you can use a furnace. You want to be really cheap with this thing. And then we're going to put another obsidian block or just an immovable block right there. And then we're going to have a sticky piston facing into the observer. Now, when we turn this piston on, if we put power into this block, then it's going to make it's going to turn the farm on and it's going to make the flying machine go. So in order to turn it on, we're going to have to put a lever in here and to make the lever, we're going to have to turn this into an air pocket. So go ahead and put down your building block and then surround the building block. And then right here, we're going to put a door. Now we can go ahead and take this building block out. It's going to make an air pocket in there and then we can put our lever in there, which is going to turn the machine on and off. Before we pull the lever and actually turn it on, we need to come over to this side over here and go ahead and put an immovable block. Three blocks off the ground, one off from the middle two right here. I guess one in from the side. And uh, go ahead and just put that immovable block there. It can be any immovable block. And now this flying machine is all good to go. So now if we come over here and pull the lever, we're going to see the flying machine is going to go over there. All this kelp is going to float up to the surface. We're going to be able to collect it up there later. We're going to make the collection mechanism right after we make sure that this works. Once it reaches the other side, Oh my gosh, it grabbed onto us. <laughs> no! Um, okay, so on this side, make sure you take back uh, anything that's over here so the flying machine doesn't actually pick up on it. The two blocks that were taken out were these two right here. There's nothing there now. Let's try this one more time.
Okay, so now the flying machine is working how it's supposed to. We have the on and off switch, which I just turned off, and now we can turn it on. So now it's just gonna go back and forth and keep breaking the kelp as it grows. So now we can go ahead and start working on the collection system. Okay, so what we're gonna wanna do to make of this collection system is pillar up from the corner of the farm right here. And use a temporary block because we can end up taking these down uh, later. Once we've pillared up to the top, then we're gonna need to make a rectangle out of building blocks. I'm gonna be using glass, but you can use whatever building block you want. The rectangle is going to be 28 long and then 11 wide. Yeah, once we have this rectangle with the building blocks that is 28 long and 11 wide, now we can go ahead and start making the actual collection system underneath. So what this is going to look like is we're going to come down two blocks like that. Then we're going to have one block come in and then we're going to have two more blocks go up like that. We can take out these corner pieces and we're going to make this go all the way to the other side after we cap off this side right here. So now we just need to fill in all of these blocks and then we put in the final pieces and now the collection system should be a one whole divot over here one wide divot over here and now what we're going to do is we're either going to use sponges if we have sponges or we're going to use temporary blocks to fill in all of these uh spaces in here and we're going to eventually take these out what we're doing here is we're just going to be clearing all the water out of here now that we've cleared all the water out of here the next step is to put in our temporary blocks all the way along the top here just like this now we're going to fill in this whole area with our temporary blocks oh my gosh dolphin get back in the water bruh that was so weird. <laughs> now that we have this whole area filled in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put water sources all the way along the back here. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna create water streams on the top here. That is gonna push all the items in here. After we have all these in place, then we're gonna take out all this dirt and the water streams are gonna stay here. So as I said, all those water streams are in place. They go all the way up exactly to the edge here. And now we can go ahead and take all of the dirt blocks out and the water streams will stay there. So now when the kelp comes up, it'll go into the water streams, pushing it into our little canal over here. So now the collection system should be looking like this and we can go ahead and take out these temporary blocks now. So now if we come up top, we can see all the kelp is gonna be put into the water stream and shot into our canal. The next step is to set up the collection system underneath. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and put our collection chest just like that. And then we're gonna shift click a hopper on top. Now what we need to do is make a water stream all the way from this end, all the way to the other end. And the way we're gonna do that is put down a water just like that. And this is where we're gonna need our packed ice. So we're gonna go ahead and put down our packed ice. We're gonna put a sign on the bottom, like right there. Then we're gonna put a sign right there and then another water here. And we're gonna go to the end of this water stream now. Now we're gonna go ahead and put a packed ice down in here and uh, do the same thing with the signs and then with the water. So the reason why we need to do it this way is so that there's no dead spots when the kelp gets shot over this way. So normally if you don't put the water up top here, then that becomes a dead spot and then you're gonna get a bunch of kelp stuck right there. But if you do it like this, there's no dead spots in the water stream. And now this goes all the way to the end and all of our kelp is gonna be collected in this chest. Now let's go ahead and AFK right here for 15 minutes and see how many pieces of kelp we get. Okay, so let's check our results after the 15 minutes and we did get three stacks of kelp. So that means we're gonna get 12 stacks of kelp every hour. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching and definitely subscribe if you're interested in seeing more easy farms just like this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.